YouTube, YouTube, what's poppin', what's poppin'? Hope everybody is good. This is your boy, DJ Trout. You know what I'm saying? DJ Troy, you know what time it is. Special shout outs to all my fans all over the world. Special shout outs to my fans in Japan, in Lebanon, in Israel. Shout out to my fans all over the world. Um, let's get into it, the trending topic of today. January 19th, 2005, 2015. Got you. All right. So before I start everything, I'll just like to hold a quick second of silence. Um, that was for Mr. Master Everything, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And I don't think anybody in the world who is alive don't know who Martin Luther King Jr. is. Um, the man has transformed culture and we know what is his message, his message of hope, nonviolence, and our service towards humanity. So special shout outs to Martin Luther King Jr., entire movement, family, the civil rights movement, the black power, every shout out to all the people who have made, you know, my freedom, you know, possible today. So respect and always remember that it doesn't matter who you might be. Dr. King had a part in your life because what he said transformed the whole of humanity. It, it didn't, everything that he wanted did not happen, but it at least helped us to get to a new level a new level of thinking, a new level of being, a new level of how to treat one another. So, moving on. Well, I'm going to start off with all the crazy stories, okay? So, my first crazy story is coming from England, of course. Um, this young boy, this five-year-old child, came home one day to his parents. And what did the parents found? They found an invoice, you got it, an invoice in his back pocket, his back pocket. And what was the invoice for? The invoice was for the fact that he missed a school party that his friend had. Yes, he got an invoice for not showing up to the party. Now, it was the weirdest thing ever and they got it resolved, but how do you give a five-year-old an invoice for missing a school party? It doesn't make any sense. Moving on to a much crazy but sad story. Over the weekend, a teenager, actually not teenager, I think she was 21, burnt her baby in the middle of the street. Now, I don't know what could possess anybody in their right mind to see a beautiful infant, a God gift, um, a blessed, a everything, and just light that thing afire. I mean, my God, like what is going on with the world? Is people losing their minds? Are people going crazy? She burnt the baby alive. Um, paramedics was able to take the child to the hospital, but unfortunately, the child passed away. Moving on to a baby-related story, but um, a little, a little more tragic. Um, over the weekend, a woman who was who conceived a quintuplet. Basically, she had four children, and at the end of that, she passed away because she wasn't able to carry she was able to carry the baby but she wasn't able to survive childbirth so you know so quadruplet so special shout outs to that family and i wish them the very best now moving on to my favorite topic or one of my favorite topic entertainment so everybody is familiar with jay-z and beyonce and I don't think everybody is familiar with Funkmaster Flex, right? Okay. 
over the weekend, Funkmaster Flex put out a huge rant and disrespected Jay-Z's website called Life at Times and saying that the website is trash. The website is trash. He inevitably said that word over a hundred times in his rant. Now, to the people in hip hop land, in the media land, in the music land, okay, we all say that, you know, music is owned by white people and they control all the companies. But let's not be fooled. Jay-Z and Beyonce is a force to reckon with. Now, the story broke today that Jay-Z is planning to buy the station that Funkmaster Flex was doing his rant on. Yes, people, Jay-Z and some investors are planning to buy Hot 97. Whether or not this is true, this news is very troubling to Funkmaster Flex and to all my future celebrities out there. Be careful of what you do and what you say when it comes to the Carter Knowles clan. These people's power are far reaching and their spending power are far reaching. Much more than that, their influence on culture is far reaching. So even though Funkmaster Flex said that he doesn't want Jay-Z for anything, he doesn't, he didn't call Jay-Z's name, let me get that clear. He said that, you know, I don't need you guys. Now, Jay-Z owns your station. You're gonna tell me that Funkmaster Flex is gonna be on Hot 97 for long if Jay-Z actually buys that station? I don't think so. So, be careful what you said when it comes to the shot, the Carter, no clan. Moving on to sports. Now, for all my, you know, international viewers, football might mean something different, you know, but in America, football is football. And last night, it was one of the most prolific football game in history. Okay, before I went to bed, the Seattle Seahawks were losing 0-16 to to the Green Bay Packers. When I got up, the Seattle Seahawks beat the Green Bay Packers. I think the score was 28-20. to Now, how that happened, it's a miracle, we must say. Because in foot, football is a very tough game. You just don't score points like that. You know, there's a lot of hitting and it's violent hitting, okay? You just don't get to score like that. So the fact that the Seattle Seahawks came back and beat Green Bay is whoa. So I think that's going to go down in history as one of the best games possible. And the Super Bowl, which is the big championship of football, is going to be on February the 1st. So it's going to be New England Patriots and the Seattle huh, Seahawks. And that's going to be a crazy game. So shout out to Seattle for such a winning comeback. Okay. Now moving on to local Caribbean news. Okay. So this is another one of my favorite topic <laughs> boy so as everyone has been familiar there's been a up-and-coming artist by the name of mr. gully Bob <laughs> excuse me for laughing now gully Bob has risen from obscurity to one of the most recognizable names in dancehall on the internet. I'm not saying in Jamaica or worldwide, in, in the world, but his name is recognizable on the internet. And the reason why I brought up Gully Bob's such story is that he 
did something that was so critical that the world didn't know what hit them. Jamaica has a end of the year show that's called Sting where all of the quote unquote big artists come and perform and they battle each other lyrically. So what Gully Bob did, Gully Bob said that he wanted to clash one of the most well-known dancehall figure in history, period, Mr. Ninja Man. And because he said he wanted to clash Ninja Man, everybody wanted to know who is this guy named Gully Bob. Because Gully Bob is one of these artists that came from nowhere. And Ninja Man has been killing some boy forever. Okay? So, Golly Bop called Ninja Man's name, and voila, we're here. Okay? We don't know where Golly Bop is gonna end up, but we know that Golly Bop is gonna be one of the most well known figures of dancehall, regardless of what he is, regardless if he records another history. It, Another record, sorry, because even though he's just a blimp in dancehall history, he has already made his mark, okay? People might not remember his songs. They might not remember, you know, exactly what happened, but everybody's going to say, okay, that, that guy, Gully Bob, he came in and was running the place for a little while. He will always be known as that guy, so... People always remember that you want to get your product out there. I'm not saying that you have to call people's name, but listen, man, association helps, okay? So shout out to the whole Golly Bops team and lessons to everybody. So finally, I would just like to talk about the situation that's been going on in Nigeria with the 2,000 plus people who were killed by, you know, the extremist group. And it's been a back and forth argument between the West and Paris and the East and Paris and the West. And it's been a back and forth argument. The argument is this, 17 people were killed in France and 2,000 people were killed in Nigeria but there was no march there was nothing okay there was absolutely no it, it, it was just like it, it never happened and people are trying to figure out does this mean that black lives doesn't matter and one of the correspondents or reporters said it plainly that the situation that's going on in Nigeria is a regional issue and there's not there's not much that anybody is going to do to help that situation which is so sad but so true if it was a situation that was affecting the whole of Africa Okay, the powers that be would have gotten into Nigeria and try to stop this madness that's going on. And it's just sad, you know, it's just sad because the president of Nigeria is there busy running for election and then you have this group running around just massacring people. So... When you go to bed tonight, please say a prayers to all those for all those who have lost their lives and always remember that justice for all, not justice for me or not justice for you, but justice for the whole of my kind. All right? Lessons. Peace out. Have a wonderful evening. DJ Troy in the building. I'm out.